Hello and welcome to another episode of I Don't Know How to Paint Clouds. Today is another day, but it's not just any day. Today is my 20th birthday, so I wanted to do something a little bit more fun today and answer some of your guys' questions from Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. First question, what is your least favorite art medium? That's a really good one. Um, I don't have a particular medium that I don't like. I do have a material that I don't like though, and that is canvas. I absolutely hate painting on canvas. It drives me bonkers. There's like, there's a grittiness to it that's different from the grittiness of like watercolor paper. I think because watercolor paper naturally soaks in um, your paint, but canvas, canvas kind of doesn't. It's more you're just putting it on top I don't know, maybe I'm just using really crappy canvas, but yeah, I can't stand it. That being said, I also am not a huge fan of using colored pencils on their own. They're a really fun addition for me for like marker pieces and gouache pieces and watercolor pieces, but on their own, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan. If you were trapped on a desert island, what three unlimited foods would you bring with you? So I'm kind of a health nut when it comes to food. So I would definitely make sure that I had a protein source. Probably chicken, because that's my favorite meat. Very versatile, very good in a lot of different things. I'd probably bring apples as well. That's my favorite fruit. Or berries. Oh, I love berries. Um, well, I know ice cream would definitely be one of those three foods. So ice cream is one of the five major food groups for me. So it's, you know, got to bring that along. Where do you get your inspiration? <laughs> Literally everywhere. I enjoy in existing and finding interesting things in that existence. Honestly, I think the best place to find inspiration is outside. We're better to look for inspiration to create than looking at the beautiful things that got already created. That being said, I also really love art books like The Art of Coco, The Art of Spirited Away, The Art of Tangled. I'm a fan, I love books. And I have a huge collection of art books, so I regularly look to those for inspiration. I really love adding like bits of greenery and like natural elements to my illustrations, so I also look at a lot of Studio Ghibli movies for that. <coughs> I'm starting to lose my voice already. Wonderful. Question four. Where is your favorite place to buy art supplies? in person would definitely be Michael's. I go there literally every time I'm in the city. <laughs> Online is for sure Amazon. I spend a ridiculous amount of money buying more art supplies on Amazon that I don't need instead of just using the ones that I already have. So that's a problem. <laughs> um, there's also a really great website called Scrapbook Pal that has a lot of Copic markers set several dollars cheaper than anywhere else I've found them, so if you're looking for Copic markers, definitely check out Scrapbook Pal. So a lot of you have been asking about which art supplies I use, and I'm very happy to say that now I'm a part of the Amazon affiliate program, so if you buy any art supplies from the links that I give in my descriptions, I get a little commission from it, so I can buy more art supplies. <laughs> have you ever wanted to be an animator? Okay, so this is a really fun question because I'm not exactly sure what the asker means by this. If you're asking if I ever wanted to be the one to actually animate the scene and like draw it frame by frame for like 2D or animate it frame by frame for 3D animation, then that is an emphatic no. <laughs> I get bored very quickly if I'm drawing the same thing over and over again, so I think I would I think I would literally pull my hair out if I tried to animate something. However, if you're asking if I want to be part of the animation pipeline, then yes, definitely. I'm very interested in visual development as well as background painting. And it's really funny because most people are interested in the character design of VizDev, but I am much more interested in like props and environments. I really love variety and like collections of things. For instance, I've been really interested in curio jars and like different varieties of snacks lately. 
I'll leave you without any context right now for why I've been interested in either of those things recently, but yeah, I like things. I think for me, painting and drawing things is often a lot more fun than drawing characters. Have you ever learned dance or music? So I learned piano in first grade, I think? I don't know, I took piano lessons for a little while. Wasn't really my jam, so I switched to art lessons instead, and now here we are. <laughs> um, I also started learning the ukulele in, I think, 2020. Just self-taught and like YouTube videos. I sing a little bit. I've never taken dance lessons, unfortunately, but I always wanted to. I do plan at some point in the future to take dance lessons, probably, probably jazz. I think I would enjoy jazz dancing. I have a great appreciation for music, but yeah, it's just not something that I practice with any real effort or dedication. Oh, I did take a songwriting workshop at art camp a few years ago. So the goal was for each group of students to write a song about either a Disney, uh, or a Disney Marvel, a Disney princess or a Marvel character. And then at the end, we would all perform our songs and try to guess the other group's character. So the girls in my group, we decided to write a song about Rapunzel. And when we performed it, the primary guess was Thanos. So that was fun. Do you have any other hobbies? I know reading is one. Yes, reading is definitely one of my main hobbies. Speaking of which, I just finished the third Nevermore book, and let me tell you, I'm gonna be waiting very impatiently until October for the fourth book to come out. But anyways, um, other hobbies. Like I said earlier, I enjoy playing the ukulele. I listen to a lot of music. <laughs> I don't know if these are really, I mean, I guess they're kind of hobbies. Honestly, a lot of my hobbies are very art related or at least like creativity related. Oh, board games. I love board games. I'm overly competitive and honestly, I win probably 75% of the time. I have this uncanny ability when we're playing like Settlers of Catan to just wish into the universe to roll something and then roll it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm if it's just dumb luck or if I'm actually strategically inclined, but yeah, I win a good portion of the time. I love games like Citadels, Grim Forest, Pandemic. Honestly, anything that has really interesting artwork, I'm a fan. I also really enjoy um, being outside, so like going for socks. Going for socks, going for walks in the summertime. Going fishing, playing catch, going on picnics, that kind of thing. All super fun for me. No sports though, um, I'm not athletic <laughs> at all. How much have you oil painted and have you tried oil pastels? So I've only actually done one oil painting. I do want to get my oil paints out again sometime soon, but I think that oil painting, it was for a, it was for a gallery show actually. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to use a medium that I'd never used before for a gallery piece, but I don't know, it ended up turning out pretty well. So I used to actually really enjoy using oil pastels, but I have no idea what happened to mine? I don't know if they just dried out and I threw them away or if I just genuinely misplaced them. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I need to buy some more oil pastels. <laughs> Who was the very best teacher you ever had in school? Hmm, let me think. Ah, <sighs> well, there was my math teacher or my science teacher. My history teacher was pretty cool. I'm just kidding, I was homeschooled, so my mom. <laughs> my mom was my teacher and she was great. What is your favorite color with the corresponding Copic number? That would be Y21 Buttercup Yellow. Honestly, any shade of yellow is pretty okay, but Buttercup Yellow is, that's my jam. If you could meet any artist living or dead, who would you meet? That would definitely be Chris Hong. Honestly, like if every other artist's work was hidden for me from now until eternity, other than Chris Hong's, I would still be okay because Chris Hong is literally my favorite ever. Out of all artists ever in the world, she's my favorite. Who is the greatest dog ever? 
Well, mom, I'm glad you asked. I love any excuse to show pictures of Ella, so here you go. So, in honor of my 20th birthday, here are 20 facts about me ranging from fun to mediocre to just downright boring. <laughs> Number one, I really love cheese, but I am very overly picky about how I'll eat it. There are only a few cheeses that I can actually eat just like on their own without cheese or <laughs> without cheese, without like crackers or fruit or something. My dad and I actually recently made cheese for the first time, and honestly, it was the best mozzarella that I've ever eaten. I've never seen Forrest Gump, but I can quote it with surprising accuracy. I love thunderstorms. I'll happily stand outside during one to watch the lightning. I find it absolutely fascinating. My feet are orange because I eat a lot of beta carotenes. I really enjoy sweet potatoes, and I eat carrots almost every day. And over time, they've just slowly turned my feet orange, which is kind of weird and embarrassing, but... So am I. <laughs> my sister and I used to get mistaken for twins literally all the time when we were little. Even though she's almost four years older and has always been at least four inches taller than me. We look basically nothing alike, so I'm not sure why anybody ever thought we were twins, but we do have an uncanny ability to say the exact same thing at the exact same time with the exact same vocal inflections. So that might have something to do with it. We share a brain cell, so. I'm related to Milton Hershey, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, I'm not closely enough related to get me a lifetime supply of chocolate, but it's a little fun fact, so. I'm also related to a few murderers on the other side of my family, which is kind of weird. We, we, don't, we don't talk about Bruno. Anyways, I once won an honorable mention in the Red Vines art contest. I've been pierced eight times, but I only have five piercings to show for it. I got my ears pierced for the first time when I was like six, I think, but I had an incident at a roller skating rink where my head hit an air hockey table and ripped the earring out of my ear. There was a lot of blood and we had to let it close, so yeah. Got them pierced again a few years later, got one, one ear pierced two more times to make like a little, I don't know, stacked thing, piercing set, I don't know what you call those, but the piercer accidentally pierced the top one wrong so I had to get it re-pierced and then I got my nose pierced so yeah eight times five piercings I had a massive collection of Littlest Pet Shops when I was a kid and I played with them way past the age that it was socially acceptable to my dream home is a small a-frame cottage with a garden and a small orchard that's literally my definition of the perfect home I was born with a huge mole on my leg that I had till I was 12, but I had it removed so it wouldn't end up causing skin cancer, so I instead have a 3 inch scar on my leg that gets me tons of entertaining, horrified stares from little kids. My favorite animal is dogs, of course, but I'm also really obsessed with literally any marine animal. I desperately want a saltwater aquarium with corals. My family runs the merchandise building at a local Christian music festival every year, so I get to meet a lot of big Christian bands, and my favorite for sure was definitely for King & Country. They're super nice, and they had no qualms about helping pack up their merchandise at the end of the evening, which, you know, humility gets a lot of brownie points in my book. When my sister and I were little, we always listened to my grandparents' record of spooky stories at Christmas time. Literally the second the Alvin and the Chipmunks record played out, we would beg my grandparents to put on the spooky stories. It was kind of a weird tradition, but we really loved it. I have an annoying habit of finding new songs that I really like and playing them on repeat until I don't like them anymore. I've ruined a ton of really good songs. I love pen palling. I've always had a habit of like collecting stickers and scrapbook papers, but not having a use for them. But when I started pen palling, shout out to Lauren, the best pen pal ever. Now I have a wonderful excuse to play around with them. And yeah, it's really fun. So we've already established that I'm not the most patient person. 
and this has been a problem since childhood. One time when I was about three, I woke up one morning and of course wanted my mandatory chocolate milk, but my mom was on the phone and instead of just waiting, I took matters into my own chubby little hands. I also decided that the milk was not necessary to this situation and ate the chocolate milk mix straight from the container. The mix was everywhere. It was all over me, it was all over the floor, it was all over the cabinets. And to this day, I can still remember the horrified look on my mom's face when she came in and saw what I had done. Good times. I slept through the night at three days old and regularly put myself down for naps when I was a kid. To this day, I'm still permanently tired and really enjoy sleeping. I'm pretty flexible in the most useless ways. I can touch my nose to my knees, but I can't do the splits. I have ridiculously flexible rotator cuffs and can borderline pop my shoulders in and out of place, which is pretty gross. I have a rare disease called secondary adrenal insufficiency. It's not overly researched and most people don't know what it is, so that's awesome. But I did get a really great SAI t-shirt for my birthday, so that's fun. So those are my fun and unfun facts. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint the creatures theme of my 100 scene studies challenge. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave a comment below with a fun fact about you. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on my weekly uploads. And if you really enjoy my artwork, head on over to Patreon and join us for even more fun. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.